So the 2020 AP exam is way different from previous iterations of it. it. Doesn't matter what course you're taking, it seems like there's a general format of 45 minutes online right now. I think they give the option of um, like an on-site one, but I'm not entirely sure. It isn't until April 3rd or 4th that we get more information from College Board regarding the AP exam. So in this video, what I want to go over are uh, the email that I received from College Board, the actual site itself, and just kind of like a small little bit of nuance throughout the information, just kind of like make sense of it for everyone here. So without further ado, let's consider the email that I received here. So basically they took um, a survey between 18,000 students and 91% of them indicated they want to complete um, the exam online. So in this case, uh, it's going to be a 45 minute online exam at home. Educators right now are figuring out how the exam questions will look. So meaning right now it's up in the air. Everything's kind of like um, ambiguous or it's just kind of like is it MCQ, is it essay? Nobody knows. Second bullet point. Um, some people want to take it sooner than later because, you know, uh, it's going to be a long time until you go back to school. Um, even in the, the current video that's being made right now, um, school is supposed to be back around like the April April 10th, but we could be out until May for the most part here. So in this case, um, there'll be two different dates, it seems. One for students who want more practice and the other one for students who feel like, you know, I'm ready, I want to keep it fresh in my head. Third bullet point here, AP curricula are locally developed and we defer to local decisions on how best to help students complete coursework. To be fair to all students, some of whom have lost more instructional time than others, the exam will include uh, topics and skills most AP teachers and students have already covered in class by early March. This is the most ambiguous point to me, just because uh, some schools closed earlier than others, fine. Some schools didn't get as far as others, fine, but I don't know what they mean by uh, include topics and skills most AP teachers. I don't know what pool they're drawing from. So in this case, that part is the trickiest one. But otherwise, if you're referring back to like previous forms of the AP exam, you should be okay in that case. Uh, colleges support the solution and they're committed to ensuring the AP students receive the credit. So no worries if you are taking AP for those college credits and so forth. Uh, you know what I mean? Like this is going to be fine for you still. Uh, students will be able to take these streamlined exams on any device they have access to, computer, tablet, smartphone. Uh, Taking a photo of handwritten work will also be an option. That's a kooky one for me, just because I I guess there's going to be a time window then in terms of the questions being presented to you. So in this case, uh, that one, I don't even know. I, I can't even speak on that one, just because it feels like that one is the most um, subjected to cheating or to... Uh, what do you call it, revisions and whatever. I don't even know. So we'll, sc we'll screw that for now. But otherwise, it's digital for the most part, the exam itself. Uh, we recognize that the digital divide could prevent some low-income and rural students from participating, which is a good point. Uh, not every student has access to a computer or to a device of any sort. I think um, YB is actually offering computer or Chromebooks to students um, during this COVID thing and also um, during the AP exam. So if you needed one, uh, you could always ask YB for one. Lastly, the exam questions are designed in ways that prevent cheating. Mm, I don't know about that one, but okay. We use a range of digital security tools and techniques, including plagiarism detection software to protect the integrity of the exams. So I'm assuming this, that it's just some basic uh, plagiarism check where if your sentences or your paragraphs look way too identical to another works, then boom, you would lose points, obviously, or you might just get disqualified. But at the same time, it also seems that uh, the ways of cheating that could happen are looking up terms, for example, or vocab, which is kind of like a big thing with AP Lane, because a lot of it's supposed to be like, you know, process elimination or context clues or whatever, prior knowledge. But in this case, you could work around it in that way. So I guess like looking up supplementary information uh, is an option, but obviously like written stuff altogether is um, off limits. So from the site, they go into a couple of more bullet points in terms of this uh, exam here. We mentioned the 45 minutes already. They, we already mentioned the whole like schools are focused or the exam focused on things the schools are able to get through. Um, we already got through the whole like you can use it on a computer, tablet, whatever. Um, you get credit. We know the students have access to it. Yeah, so all the stuff we covered already. Um, they offer classes now, which I'm actually interested to see. They're 45 minute classes. I don't know what the hell this 45 minute thing is or 45, you know, everything is. But otherwise... Every class is 45 minutes in talking about something specific regarding um, argumentation. Wait, what the hell? Explain how an argument demonstrates understanding. When it, okay, so the same damn thing three times in a row. Cool. So uh, I think I'll watch one of these myself just to see what information is being provided. Um, 
I mean, I'll be frank. I'll be frank with it. I think this exam this year is going to be really watered down, kind of dumbed down for the most part here. So um, they just want core foundational skills from you. So if you're able to analyze like an author's purpose, look for rhetorical devices, stuff like that, boom, you're pretty much in the clear, I think. Uh, speaking of anti-cheating, to go a little bit more into detail here, so all those the same stuff. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I think cheating in this case is going to just exist in the supplemental stuff. So in this case, if you're looking up terms or um, content knowledge outside, then that there's that. So I don't know. For for laying, I think it's a little harder to cheat for just because, fine, you have the information, you still have to write this essay, right? So in this case, um, you can get a better nuanced essay, but it's still going to be up to you. So, like I mentioned, it's not until April 4th that we get more information in terms of what the exam will conclude. Until then, uh, the online classes might give a little bit of information regarding how uh, the exam actually looks and so forth, but even then, maybe not, right? So, that's something to consider. I'm still going to post videos as per, like, the usual content, so Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays are still going to be, you know, um, Mondays being the type of essay discussion, Wednesdays, MCQ, Friday, the essay itself. Um, just keep this in mind, like ultimately we have this weird kooky uh, AP exam structure that's given this year, but ultimately it's about skill. Like I'm not giving you the stuff necessarily to like pass the AP exam uh, for that sole purpose. It's more so of like, no, I actually want you to be able to rhetorically analyze or to make an argument or to synthesize stuff because that's still going to be used in college and that's a lifelong skill. Like I don't want you to be an illiterate student, you know what I mean? So in this case, forget the test to some degree, just practice as you would normal, and that's it, you know what I mean? If you have the skills on a day, you do. If not, you just keep working on it. And so the exam is just a marker for now, but even then, just keep pushing. So don't let this uh, whole situation freak you out. I think it's just kind of uh, a weird thing to go. If you fail it, you have an excuse now. Oh, it was COVID-19. Okay, fine, whatever. So in this case, just Take it in stride. Just use the skills, learn the skills. That's the most important.